we are going back to the Philippines. This came up again recently. Um, I want to make it very clear. The, the reason we left the Philippines, although we had had the typhoon and other issues, we already had a lot more assets than a lot of people arrived with. We could have been there very long term and still can. But predominantly, we've come to Europe for able to see Europe and experience life and food. <laughs> Because um, I know I know you know my pet hate is the uh, bad sugar food, etc. April's already loving real bread here, um, the fresh seafood, olives, all, all that. I mean, a lot of the stuff is available in the Philippines, but in Spain and generally Europe, it's a lot more accessible. But also, it's the different cultures. Although we're in Spain at the moment, I wanted to go to Germany this year uh, for Christmas. It looks like that'll be uh, put to one side after all the Syrian refugees seem to be heading that way. Somebody's estimated up to 800,000 of them will be arriving in Germany this year, which will ruin the holiday. I'll just leave it at that. But the point is we will go back to the Philippines. We're investing in the Philippines. We we are still on a monthly basis adding new buildings and things. Um, a lot of it isn't on the channel at the moment. Uh, for example, we've just converted April's parents' bedroom from it used to be quite a small room, uh, but there was another kitchen because um, there was two kitchens. There used to be a kitchen outside the bedroom, then there was a roof extended outside of that, then there was a wall put up. And then we built that in, put windows and stuff. So then there was two kitchens side by side. Well, the old kitchen's now been ripped out and is now extended the bedroom. Haven't shared the pictures of stuff uh, purely because it's a family thing, which I don't think that many people would be interested in. But the, the whole point was we're still investing on a regular basis in the Philippines. We're still replacing windows in the Philippines, although the main building is now fully glazed. Um, our workers are start currently busy on April's parents' bedroom with new ceiling, new walls, new electrics, etc., etc. So there's a, start, a lot of stuff still going on. It's not stagnant in the Philippines. So when will we be returning to the Philippines? Actually, we're looking at probably about another year. Um, we still got so much to do in Spain. As you can see, I'm starting to get tired again. Um, I'm doing a lot of this stuff on YouTube and stuff, building this stuff up as well now. Uh, one thing is, I use as much of my downtime as possible to actually create long-term income. Very rarely do I sit still. Um, we spend, I spend a lot more time with the kids. I mean, I'm picking up the kids, dropping them off at school. We spend their evenings with them, the afternoons, etc. Stuff I haven't had time to do for a very long time. And like today, it's Saturday. It's a little bit hot outside, we're just about to have lunch though, and then we'll be taking the kids to the park. So there's a lot of stuff going on here in Spain, but I want to make it very clear, the Philippines hasn't stopped. The Philippines is still continuing. It's just that we're in Europe, experiencing Europe, and the Philippines is still home. It always will be home. The, the roots for the kids are firmly in the Philippines. They're more Filipino than they are British. Um, I would say it's actually a good thing these days, but that's my own political view. Um, but they're more, more like to be Filipino Spanish um, rather than British. Um, I, I find the culture here much better. But like I said, it's my own personal viewpoint on that. I know some people don't whine about the fact that I'd rather be in Europe than in the UK. But there's a lot of reasons behind that. Like I said, I'm ex forces, uh, family born and bred, and I find the environment that we have in Spain, etc., more suits my personality. Um, also, Germany is more suited to my personality. Traveling around Europe, I'm more European than British. Um, I've had too much multiculturalism to actually be pro-British or anti-British or anything else. I mean, it, I made a comment the other day relating to 
the Daily Mail talking about patriot, uh, patriotism when they're, I believe they offshore their own tax liabilities to Bermuda with their headquarters, which is that a very British thing to do? But my other comment being is, what British companies are there? Um, you look at our power, it's gone to um, American companies, etc. Nuclear power, uh, French companies, our railways have been sold off, lock, stock and barrel. Things like Tesco's and whatever, they're owned by shareholders that could be anywhere. A lot of the land is sold to Chinese. Et what is British? Because I can't see much. Um, there's a lot of patriotism based on very specific things. But everything's been sold off. Um, I'll leave it at that because I didn't want to get into politics on my channel. <laughs> and this aircon driving me mad at the moment. One of the things that's really annoying in Spain is not having isolators on air conditioning, which actually is an EU requirement. <laughs> but yeah, like this one, it's playing up, but you can't switch the thing off, even at the um, condenser on the roof. It's got no controls to it. Really. There's no isolator on it whatsoever. Who are these in? Well, well I wouldn't say want shooting, because <laughs> that's a bit severe, but want retraining. But yeah, we'll go back to the Philippines. It's going to be about a year away, but just be aware, we're still home.